time. Tea you time. Have, you have a real English hat. I have an honorary English hat. No, I think it's the other way around. No, you, you have the have... real English hat. I just have a baseball cap that has an English team. If I'm walking with you in the London streets, are you walking with me with this confidently? No, I'm clinging <laughs> to you like hopefully if someone steps to us, you got us. That's how I feel. I think you're wrong, but continue. All right. Nine day outcomes for the Jets and the Vikings week four. They go across the pond. Rodgers has only been there once, but one one time, 2022, if I'm not mistaken. If we're looking at these two teams narrative wise, how are you looking at Vikings? How are you looking at Jets going into this matchup here? Well, the narrative, well, a couple things. This is why it's so massive to win the games you're supposed to win. Because now this game on the road in Minnesota is very daunting. You had to get that game at home against a really bad Broncos team, right? Had because to. then you're feeling a lot better. The narrative around the team's a lot better. The record is is three and one. And then you're going into a big primetime spot. Now you have a, a, a real chance to go under 500. So it, it's difficult. Um, Minnesota Vikings are real. I think they came they're off. real. You're, we're at the point. They're oh, they're yeah. the chalk to win the North. I think they came off the the gas last week against Green Bay. They were dusting them off, right? And they kind of took that pedal off their foot off the pedal a little bit and, and had that game in limbo. But overall, Minnesota is very good on D, very good on O, and it, it's real. You got to believe your eyes. Now let me ask you this because. Flores has just been getting all kinds of credit as a DC with the schemes. Rogers has seen what has Rogers not seen as a four year old man going into this. Not to mention the history going against the Vikings. I got it. Fifty seven touchdowns, eight mistakes, one twenty eight, excuse me, one oh eight passer rating. Can't even read my own handwriting. Do we feel like this is an inflated maybe narrative as far as Vikings are untouchable? These games across the pond, we just don't know. But you made a great point, which Broncos should have been packed in early. We saw the rain get to an older lad, <laughs> to use an English term. Yeah, I feel like through a month of football, we're seeing more desperate teams sometimes come out on Sunday as the victor. That's kind of what I'm feeling here in this game. Because the Vikings can afford to drop a game. The Jets really can't. Yeah, no, no question. And when we talk about Minnesota and their defense, Jordan Love did have four touchdowns. So there Correct. is some tape that they'll be able to relay and say, hey, maybe these are some spots we can – expose they are more desperate but the game is in london that there's a lot of different elements here like the jets talked about how much they wanted that weekend off they were excited to have it they get the weekend off then come out flat in a storm by the way everyone seems to forget that it was raining like it was perfect conditions and bo nix and the broncos just came in and got a w it was treacherous out there bo nix was throwing so worse balls I, than your, your local kid on the cul-de-sac it was hard to watch but yeah. So, do you feel like the Jets win that game in good weather? Yes, hundred percent. So that was a bad weather. The asterisk. conditions really, really killed the Jets. They, they have to win it anyway. But the narrative around them right now is almost forgetting that it was an, that it was raining the entire game and it was perfect conditions, and they're the same old Jets and they lost. Do you want to so, do you want to bring up what G Dub yes. G Dub said? Yeah, I thought that was very telling. Talk to us. Pete, Ben. Right, so this was on Barton Hahn recently. Gary Wilson said about the Jets' offensive play and uh, identity. He said, I don't think we do a lot of different stuff, to be honest. I watch football on Sundays. I see a lot of teams mix it up and stuff like that. I don't think we do that. I think we do know our identity. It's just about going out and executing it or figuring out if it's going to work. I don't think we're trying a lot of different things. Woo! Is that a Hackett dig? That's a lot of dig. Who's that? Well, that's not at Rodgers. That's not right. Hackett and Rodgers are one, by the way. In case you haven't figured that out, Hackett wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for Rodgers. That's not a wise call, then. If you're trying to get in law, if you're trying to create chemistry with Rodgers, who, again, is not Brady. I hate to go down the psychology road, but no wife, no kids. This is all ball, all he has. He, you disagree with a guy like this. He doesn't go home to his family for more important <laughs> things. This is his family. So I'm over here like, how are you, Wilson, creating this? And do we dare give you some credit here for that Devontae shout-out? Maybe going cross-pollination, maybe bringing another asset to shore up some chemistry. But that's a huge comment to me that Rodgers hears everything. That's not a good look. He might hear this. I think <laughs> Devontae is only going to the Jets or the Saints to go back to two guys that he's familiar with. I wouldn't be shocked if the Chiefs pulled something out of their hat, but I don't know how the cap and all that stuff works with it. But Devontae will be on the move in the next two weeks. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Do the Jets offer that comment by Wilson 
win this game in Minnesota, in London against Minnesota? I wouldn't bet it. I would. This would be a completely stay. You would bet the Jets. I'm, it's already been done. <laughs> Plus three. Why? I think this is, again, this is a situation. Double-digit penalties. You got Salah and Rodgers doing sound bites in different rooms about each other. You got that kind of a comment on local radio. There's a there, this is a come together moment, or we we are in a we're in or hot it's a water. or it's a fracture moment. Correct, but then you're sitting there going, man, if Dable and Salah Rook castled on the chessboard, Dable and the Jets with Rodgers would be two more wins here. But we got a wrap. Are you a tea guy? You tea guy. No cream. Are you a cream guy? No, I'm a coffee guy, so I don't drink tea anyway. Let's go. Tea time. Thank <laughs> you.